background noise. And just to let you know that we are recording uh, this as well and that it will be going out to my database uh, for the people who couldn't make it today. I am proud to say that over 10 days organically without paying for ads, I was able to get 52 people registered for this event. And although most people, uh, some people may not attend today, they will still then be able to receive this recording um, and the special offer that I have for everybody today. So um, my goal for today is for everybody to leave feeling incredibly confident about where they are with their business right now and hopeful, hopeful that, um, a hopeful, faithful that there is something that we can do uh, right now. Don't know why this is doing that, sorry. Right now. So uh, once again, um, just checking, everybody is on mute. Thank you so much. Um, it's good to see some familiar faces on there. Thanks so much for supporting guys. And I hope that I can support you through these really uncertain times. Um, and as I said, if you're not familiar yet, we do have a chat box down below. I have asked uh, if everybody would like to uh, firstly grab a drink and tape up your kids. Um, I have, mine have been threatened and bribed. All three of them are home today. I've told them no Wi-Fi while I'm on at the moment. So they're, <laughs> and they're in their room. So who knows what they'll do? What did we do in the olden days without Wi-Fi? <laughs> um, but anyway, so they're all in their rooms at the moment. Hopefully we'll be quiet. And we've got the dog in, in one of the bedrooms cuddling on the bed as well. So that, um, that he doesn't bark and hopefully doesn't bark. Um, so yes, if you could all just uh, put your uh, business, share your business. I mean, let's, let's support small businesses. I'd love to, for you to introduce yourself. Those who've worked with me beforehand know how we do this. You introduce yourself, let everybody know sort of why you do what you do, uh, what your business is and what is the problem that you solve. And potentially someone on this call may even be interested in taking up your services. Because today I'm going to show you that with everything that's going on, there is actually, people are still spending money. They're just spending it on the right things. And you're going to hear me say that a few times today. People are spending money. It's just on the right things. And today I'm going to show you how. Okay. So, um, yeah, thank you, Karen. Um, yeah, Karen is one of my clients as well. And 100% leaders right now need to be stepping up and need to be showing up. So I know Selena got a bit freaked out this morning because she was like, oh, was that online event? You know, it's today Wednesday. I thought the online event was Wednesday. And I actually, in fact, held a emergency uh, webinar on Friday, on Monday, on Monday morning. I held it because there's a lot of trolling that's going on on Facebook at the moment. So if you check your newsletters, I did send that recording out as well. The subject line was COVID crazies and how to deal with them on Facebook um, because there is a lot of trolling going on. So I just wanted to give everybody the skills to be able to do that. So right now I'm rising up, I'm supporting small business owners um, and I'm going to give you some hope today, which I'm, which I'm really stoked about. So please, yes, put all your, share your links um, into the chat box below. Uh, introduce yourself. That'll be awesome. Daryl, great to see you again. Twice, twice this week. That's almost, that's awesome. Uh, Sandra's twice this week as well. I know that um, Mel and Lizzie twice this week, which is super cool. Um, so I do thank you for, for showing up today. Zoe, good to see you from Sydney. Um, cool. So with no further ado, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to share screen today and I'm doing things a little bit differently, but I'm doing it so that I can stay on track because everyone knows I wander a bit. So um, I have actually prepared a PowerPoint presentation, the good little girl that I am. All right, so take your business online and how we can use Facebook because some of you may still be a little bit unsure of where Facebook fits into all of this. I do completely appreciate that everybody is at different levels in their business and in different levels of understanding in their business as well. Um, some may be a lot more advanced and they're more in advanced concepts, other and more basic uh, introduction skills. So hopefully I can, uh, I can help you all. What I would like you to do is if you do have any questions, could I ask you to please put them in the chat box below and I will stop and go through them. Okay, let's have a look. All right, so firstly, who is today for? Like, wh why, why am I doing this? Um, this is for everybody who wants to make a living from their expertise, knowledge, purpose, gift, or wisdom. So it's for coaches, consultants, advisors, therapists, entrepreneurs, professionals, service providers, who need to adapt and provide a service for their customers online. Now, 
although my partner's business is not online, I'm just going to give you an example of how we've had to adapt. On Monday morning with the new legislation at 4 a.m. we were up and we were changing his bicycle shop into a drive-through bicycle shop so that people could still get their bicycles serviced um, by dropping it off at the back entrance and picking it up at the drop uh, back entrance so that they could avoid social, con uh, social distancing. So just to show you how quickly in business we need to adapt in these uncertain times. Uh, and Woolworths has been fantastic. If you look at Woolworths, they're a fantastic example of how they've done that. So again, who's this for? If you use your knowledge to solve a major life or business problem, people can benefit from what you know, then this is from you. So if any of you solve a major life or business problem, please write in the chat box what your major life or business problem is that you solve right now, because guaranteed there are people out there right now that are looking for you. Today's webinar is also for people who do not have an ongoing marketing budget and they wish to keep their marketing in-house, to have control over their own marketing and to, uh, and to get customer generation, to generate their own customers. So for those of you who don't know, um, some of you may not know me, I'm Chantal Girardi, a, a, a qualified and award-winning Facebook strategist. It wasn't always that way, it was pure necessity in the, in the early days, but I did go on to get my qualifications. So in 2008, I immigrated from Durban, South Africa with my twin four-year-olds and a one-year-old to start over again. My husband at the time came on a working visa, but within the first couple of years, he was made redundant twice. And it forced this mama bear to get on Facebook and to start my business from scratch to support my family. So knowing no one, I taught myself how to get clients, create opportunities and start a business using the full capabilities of Facebook. Whilst I had kitties, uh, three kitties under, uh, under five years old. Five years later, my PT business um, was doing so well that it in fact opened up a fitness center, uh, which I sold last year in March uh, because I had the two business going and it was getting too much for me. Um, but before long, I had business owners asking me how I did it. Um, and I, as I said, I walked away from the gym in March 2019 to focus on how I could help more business owners learn how to do it themselves. Because as many people who would say that they will do it for you, but there are many business owners who are not in that position or, or really can have the skills and strategy to do it successfully themselves. So I've now helped over, and I was trying to work this out, and I'm sure it's even more than that, but this morning I worked it out to over 300 business owners worldwide that have learned how to use Facebook safely and effectively to scale their business faster and without having to experience the costly mistakes that I made. Let's just check in at the chat box because I see it going off, which is super cool. Oh, now it's disappeared. Let's bring it back. Right, cool. Um, right, so why Facebook? Why, why have I chosen Facebook over all the other platforms? So I gave you some nice statistics here. 93% of small businesses choose Facebook because it's entertaining, engaging, and fun. And definitely it is. I don't know if any of you have been on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is very clinical, and I find it quite spammy. Uh, Instagram, it's picture based. It's all about the cool kids. Um, but yeah, whether or not people are actually using it to convert on it, I'm not so sure. But what we do know is that there are 2.8 billion monthly active users on Facebook. And in January 2018, the statistics lay at 53% female and 47% male, which I would imagine right now with the whole gender um, discrepancies, I'm not sure how now they would actually. Um, be able to even monitor that. All right, so let's just have a look. I'm just gonna to go to some of your questions over here. Thank you, please share your businesses in there. And at the end, I will show you how you can save that chat onto your, um, onto your desktop so that you guys can actually network and connect with any businesses that right now you may need help from. Uh, earlier at the beginning of last week, I did a webinar, a, a live, actually a Facebook live on how self-preservation. So please make sure that you check the uh, check your newsletters for that as well. It was on self-preservation and how business owners can take care of themselves right now. Because right now you need to put the oxygen mask over yourself before you try and help anybody else. Um, cool. Excellent. So great to see so many amazing people over here. Uh, who right now, I'm sure, can help somebody. All right, so in Australia, the 2018 census 
the um, survey out of 1,100 uh, businesses, they found that, and this was really interesting, 51% of small businesses are using uh, Facebook, 58% medium-sized businesses are using it, and 85% are large businesses. So many people say large businesses aren't using it. The fact is they may not be using it for business, but guess what? They are on there, which means we can connect to them and we can put ourselves in front of them if you follow the right etiquette. Okay, so, uh, so for all Australian businesses with a social media presence, Facebook has been proven to be by far the most popular. So just in case you had any doubts. So who uses Facebook? So again, these, this is not me, I could have put that list down, but I actually went and got it from an Australian survey that found these industries, in fact, I think it was actually Queensland um, did a survey and they said that these industries uh, small to medium-sized businesses were the most likely to use social media. So cultural and recreational personal services, retail trade, hospitality, accommodation, cafes and restaurants, health and community services, communication, property and business services, wholesale trade, manufacturing, building and construction, finance and insurance, transport and storage. So now in the chat box below, if any one of those people is your ideal client, can you write it in the chat box below? So if your ideal client is retail trade or wholesale trade or manufacturing, guess what? They're using Facebook. But if you'd like to share with us who they are, that would be awesome. If you say all of them, I might wrap you over the knuckles, but I'll show you why later. The unfortunate thing is most business owners aren't gonna make it through these tough times, okay? So if you do know me from South Africa and I'm a complete, I, I call it how it is. Some people may find it slightly harsh, but I do call it how it is, okay? So small businesses account for 98.45% of all Australian businesses. Wow, we. So as per the Australian Bureau of Statistics, more than 60% of small businesses stop their operation within the first three years of their startup journey, okay? So three years startup. I would like you to mention in the chat box if you are above three years in business or below three years in business. No judgment here, guys. I'm just allowing you to engage as I present today, okay? It also gives me some feedback. Cool. So the four reasons small businesses fail. Okay, and this was actually a little bit confronting for even me to read this. I was like, oh, if I put this up, are people just going to feel like they've got a dagger in their hearts? But this is what, what it is, okay? The four reasons small businesses fail. A lack of capital or funding, all right? This is why many of us don't have a marketing budget. This is why we have to invest in ourselves to do it successfully. Poor or non-existent infrastructure. Now, the reality is, if you don't have systems and automations or the right processes in place, you may actually be losing clients because you don't have it. And that's not really your fault. It's just a case of you may not have the education or the skills or the knowledge to be able to put that in. Because we don't know what we don't know. I had to learn everything I knew in business. And number three is a faulty business model. So how many of us, and I was, one of the, I, I was one of those people in both my businesses where I just jumped in, loved what it was that I was doing, jumped in and created a business without even knowing or setting up a business plan or business model. I just winged it, winged it from the beginning. And number four is unsex, unsuccessful marketing initiatives, meaning that people do not actually spend a lot of time on their marketing and don't really know uh, what it is that they're doing. And again, it's not your fault. In the olden days, you would have staff or people to be able to do that for you. But now business owners have to do it, do it for themselves. All right, so I might just go here back to your chat box and just have a little look and just see some of the comments that are coming through. Tracy Murray, I'm South African too. Awesome, Tracy. Share where you're from. I'm from Durban. I've uh, been here for 11 years now. Uh, lost my cursor. Weird, my cursor's disappeared. All right, cool. There we go. Okay, so let's go. Below three years, below three years, above three years, below, under three years, more than three years, been up for 16 years, below three years, under three years. Yep, awesome. Awesome. Anyone who sits still for too long in front of a screw. Yep, excellent. Yep, ideal client. Perfect. 
or 30 years. Awesome. Over three years. Joe Bird, baby. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Tracy, we'll have to connect. 12 years. All right. Started the same business. Okay. Excellent. Awesome. Over five years. Thanks so much, guys, for engaging. All right. Oh, we went backwards. Okay. So what do the successful know? What did the successful know uh, that we possibly don't know? Okay. And if any of you work with a business coach, this is what they always ask you, you know, what do the successful know? Or what are they doing that you, that you should be doing? Because we need to look because that's how we can learn. So what are the successful doing that those struggling aren't? Well, those winning are operating at a higher level of understanding. So they really understand more than what it is that you understand or know. All right. They're not merely just smashing out content online, but they're actually working smarter, not harder. Okay. Who feels like they're freaking working hard right now? Who feels like it is so laborious and sometimes it feels like you're just never getting ahead? Guys, I know how it is. This last week has been a roller coaster ride for me, um, trying to adapt both my business and my partner's business to be able to um, get get over get you know overcome this hurdle. Um, and they are upskilling and investing in themselves with a strategy to get actual monetary results. When you look at those that are succeeding, most of them have coaches. Most of them are engaging the help of someone who knows more than what they know to be able to get ahead and get a result quicker. Okay, so why is this a tragedy? Well, if you are in business for yourself, it is because you honestly believe you can make a difference to someone and that people need your help. Guarantee that that's why you guys are in business. It brings you joy and satisfaction to, pick, to fix people's problems. For you, I can guarantee you it's not about the money. It's about a genuine responsibility that you feel to provide your expertise to the world. You want to leave a lasting impression before your time is up. Anything like me, that's exactly why you're in business. So how does online success look? Okay. And I actually um, asked some of my clients to give me some feedback on this as well. So how does online success look? Well, you jump out of bed every day excited to serve your clients because now you don't have the stress, the overwhelm, and you, don't, and you know what you're actually doing. You have the knowledge to time effectively create content on Facebook. Okay. Imagine knowing what to do to get a result. You have an easy to follow action plan, all right? Who doesn't like direction or Google Maps? You enjoy spending the 20 minutes per day online connecting with more perfect clients that come into your business. Because everyone goes, I freaking hate being on Facebook, hate it. it. Takes me hours. Well, what if I told you you only need to spend 20 minutes and you'll actually enjoy doing it because it actually brings you clients. Uh, new opportunities are created through Facebook. So some of the opportunities which people do not even consider when they're on Facebook for their business. These new opportunities can actually give you speaking events, podcast opportunities, interviews, uh, radio, TV interviews, collaborations, um, even contributions to books and blogs. Uh, your business has increased visibility and you stand out from your competitors. You are happy, your clients are happy and more clients and opportunities present themselves because you're successful. You get paid your worth, you're in demand, and your business has the systems in place to run smoothly and scale. I am so super excited. We have, for the last year, been automating my entire system. It cost me heaps of money on coaches, on experimenting with systems. I probably got it right um, about the third system down the line, and it cost me money along the way. The good news is I've done that. So, and now I can help you. You don't have to do all of that. <laughs> you don't have to go and go, which system, which payment system, which Google calendar, which, uh, how am I going to deliver it? You don't have to do any of that because I've spent all the money and invested it and gotten all the help so that I can share that with you. All right. So what can you do? If you're anything like me, you may be a control freak. <laughs> For those of you who know me, absolute control freak. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. So number one is change your beliefs. And I know I've got quite a few mindset people on the call today. Um, so you're probably going, yes, change your beliefs because you've all got strong beliefs. But many of us right now with the fear, the frustration, the uncertainty, um, right now we are in panic mode. Uh, everyone must have had a COVID cry. I'm calling it the COVID cry. Uh, Paula Brand says I must hashtag that. Um, everyone has had a COVID cry. But then you put on your big girl panties and you, and you keep moving forward. Uh, even you, Daryl. Um, right, so change your beliefs. 
People are spending right now, but they're only spending money on the things they need, okay? Only on the things they need. Think about it. Focus on the impact that you make in others' lives, your contribution and your influence that you have for your clients. If you want to thrive while everyone else struggles, you have to become more customer focused. And it is more prevalent now than ever before. What you think may be customer focused may not be customer focused. It may be in fact uh, deflecting customers away from you. All right. Uh, thank you. Excellent. I'm just having a look at some notes. Love you for that. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Thank you so much for sharing, Karen. Um, I did mention in my self-preservation live this week, there are people out there right now that are giving their gifts to the community right now. Just like today, take advantage of it. If you are in, if you need and help, ask for help, get help. There are many people out there supporting you. Um, okay, so number, so number three means we've got to transform our offers to be more desirable. It has to be more desirable, more now than ever, because people are even tighter with their money right now than they've ever been, which means if your offer is not going to be desirable, and if it's not going to be focused on their customer needs, they're going, you're going to get a, flat, a fat no, a fat no right now. And that is why over the last week I've been adapting. I've changed all my topics. I've changed all my key messaging. I've, and I know everybody's over the COVID, but it is, it is topical right now. It is trendy. And I know that I can help people genuinely. Not just doing it to try and get attention. I'm doing it to genuinely help and support people. And that is why today you will see that I've adjusted my offer and I have a special offer for everyone today because um, I, you have to keep up with the trends. You have to keep up with your customers and how they're changing. But when you provide excellence in your business and you adapt, people will happily pay you and they will be drawn to you. So we have to shift our mindset to be able to accept this. We also need to charge what we are worth. So people will people respect you more. They'll respect the program more and they'll be a lot more committed. Um, not only that, but you'll have fewer clients, a lot, a lot less tire kickers, I can promise you. And because you give better service and support, word of mouth referrals actually improve. And more important, you can actually focus on getting a result with your clients. So it is results focused, customer focused, results focused, outcome focused. So number two of what can you do? So we talk about the things that you can control right now. Mindset, yes, you can control your mindset, but it's going to take a bit, of, a bit of work. Number two is your marketing. Right now, your ideal clients are out there wanting your help. They actually need you, and they need you right now. All you have to do is show the right person online how you can help them. There's two aspects to that. The right person, and that right person has changed. With COVID, the right person has changed. So who is that person? Right now, you need to go down and you need to create a client avatar and work out who is that person? What are their fears, their needs, their wants, their frustrations? Um, in fact, this is the homework that I've given my clients at the moment. Go and write down 10 problems that your clients are experiencing right now. I want you to attach a feeling to that. How are they feeling for each of those 10 problems? How is it making them feel? And then the third thing I want you to do is I want you to solve that problem. Simply solve it. Not, oh, well, we could do this, 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 and dump your entire program onto them. I want you to take one thing and solve their problem. And then I want you to create a juicy headline for that program. So it's four steps there. Um, and basically, that is what I've done today to get you all onto this call. Juicy headline, it's topical and trendy, and it appeals to people with a genuine need right now to take their businesses online. Um, and I've created an offer for, for this as well. All right, so gone are the days of cold calling, door knocking, spamming, flyer drops, networking groups, the newspaper, radio, TV. They're just not as impactful as they used to. This type of marketing is called cross your finger marketing. How do you really know that the right person's going to end up in front of you? If you just spit stuff out onto Facebook, 
how do you know the right person's going to actually see it and feel it and be compelled to take action and use your services? You strategic Facebook marketing can attract and nurture your prospects. So number two is you have to consider the time, the energy, and the cost that you spend all to receive a no. Every time you go onto Facebook and you do something and you do not get a client or you do not nurture someone or do you not engage someone, they are saying no to you. That's rejection right there. And it costs you time, it costs you energy, and I'm sure it's frustrating and it scares the shit out of you. Uh, it may make you even stop Facebooking even more. Now, some people try podcasts, lives every day. That's the favorite thing that, that business coaches will tell you to do. Do a live every day and uh, yeah, your Facebook will take, take off. Now, nah, it can actually break your brand. Uh, you could try video marketing, getting more engagement, starting every single social media channel that you've heard about and half-heartedly do each of them. You could try SEO, speaking gigs, guest blogging, or gambling your money on paid ads. But still, you maybe only get a maybe. So how are we going to capture those maybes for later? How are you going to truly capitalize on the opportunities and turn them into actual customers? Content alone on Facebook is not going to serve your customers nor pay your bills. A Facebook strategy will ensure a financial reward on the time that you spend. Now you could outsource it to someone else. Everyone goes, I don't want to do it. I want to leave it to someone else. And most people who come to me have been burnt by someone by having taken it to someone, spent an absolute fortune, and they end up doing a full circle and coming back to me. Because will they sound like you? Will the content be an honest reflection of who you are, how much you care and show your expertise? Because by the time you have written and communicated that to the person who's running your Facebook, guess what? You could have written it, done it yourself with a structure, with a plan, a structure, a strategy. You can do it yourself. Will it also show your pass uh, passion and your knowledge? So you can imagine if I was to write for a plumbing company, because everyone knows I've got the contract to train plumbers, if I, um, if I wrote the content for plumbers, I would go, please come and use this plumber. He's great. Because I wouldn't be able to talk about a faucet, a toilet, a plunger. I would have no idea. And if the content doesn't connect, it's not going to work. Not only that, you have to have a huge marketing spend to be able to pay somebody else to do it. So do you have a strategy to turn that content into paying clients? Will they treat your customers, your potential customers and leads as if it were their own at stake? So I'll tell you a story. We went into BCF uh, before we went camping about a couple of weeks ago um, to buy, um, oh, my partner's just bought a boat. So we wanted to get a seat for the boat. And online we went on, it said BCF, have got these seats. So we drove to Stockland's uh, BCF, Burley. We get there, there's a guy there. We, we look around, we can't see them. And I say to the guy, Oh, uh, there's no, here are the seats online, but there's none in your store. And he goes, our store doesn't stock them. So I said, oh, really? Like, we're going boating tomorrow. Like, where can we get one? He goes, why don't you go try Anaconda? And I just thought, this is a perfect example of how an employee doesn't treat that lead. I mean, I, was, I wanted it. I wanted to pay it. I wanted it. He should have gone, taken me to the front, he should have gone, you can go to BCF in Ashmore. They have one. I'll phone and make sure that it's there for you. As the owner of a company, that is what they would do. As an employee, he just said, go to Anaconda. Unbelievable. So can we entrust somebody else to do it? All right. Also, if anyone's been uh, burnt and you're brave enough to share your burning story, Put it in the chat box and let us know uh, if you've outsourced your content to somebody else uh, and if it was successful or unsuccessful. So uh, I would say you're probably looking at about 10% of a 10%. So 10 out of 100 would, um, would be successful. And it depends on how you rate successful. Many people think they're successful with their content because they are getting engagement. Engagement is not a conversion. It's not a client. Cool. 
So number three is empower yourself. Now, this one is so important. And for those of you who know me, I always go, I empower business owners with the skills and strategy to successfully manage their own profiles. That's my pitch. And I encourage you all to have one. Um, but it is about empowering yourselves. And when I was a business owner on my own or by myself with these kids running around and didn't know what I was doing, I had to empower myself and I had to do it in the cheapest, quickest uh, possible way. Um, so just like your customers who wish to invest, invest in you, they need to overcome fears. But really you as the business owner need to also overcome your fears so that you can get, so that you can, sorry, everything's just moving around my cursor. There we go. Um, overcome your fears so you can learn new skills, you can challenge yourselves and you can grow and in these times survive, baby. Those with a strategy will save themselves time, money, and frustration and will succeed so much quicker along with having a more professional, sustainable business. So here is what a well, oh, geez, man. it's a bit glitchy today. I'm sure that some, some kids must be on Wi-Fi because it's glitching. All right. So a well thought out business plan should consider who needs you right now. And it's not everyone. And right now it has changed. Whoever it was last week and the week before that and the week before that and this week is completely different because people are more fearful. People are, people are freaking out. They got to get their shit in order right now. So yes, they may not spend money last week and this week, but next week they're on Centrelink. They're getting massive payouts and bonuses. They're getting all their mortgages. They're getting all their mortgages um, and car repayments on hold for six months, which means guess what? They do have money to invest in the things that are important to them right now. All right, so what will they pay you for? Whatever your offer is, what do you think that those people will pay you for? And what I just took you through earlier on is exactly that process. What is their problem? What is their pain? How are they feeling so that you can connect with them? And what do you know that you can do to fulfill that right now? And what do you think that they will pay for that? If you could promise them that you could do that, what, what would they be prepared to pay for you right now? So for the right outcome-based offer, they will happily pay. And the next thing is, how will you market to them on Facebook? Because doing everything doesn't mean anything. I go through this one, um, this one slideshow which shows you the full capabilities of Facebook. It's like a visual of your personal profile, your business page, groups, um, marketplace, work for, uh, workplace and all these different, and people look and they go, oh my gosh, how am I gonna learn all these things? Well, guess what? You don't need to do everything. You just need to do what's right in your business and right for your client. That one simple thing that you've got to do on Facebook, that one simple plan, that funnel, that strategy that you have to follow, you, do, you need to be aware of everything else around, but you don't need to be doing everything. You don't need a complicated, I need a public group, I need a private group, I've got to have multiple business pages. I've got to have 20,000 desirable offers so that I can try and get every client. It doesn't have to be that complicated or hard. Um, but how will you actually market to them on Facebook? And then how will you collect those leads? Because most people aren't ready to buy right now. They've got to be uh, touched by you a few, a few times and in your special place, all right? So people look at that and go, wow, but it's true. How many times do they need to see you and feel you and get trust from you before they go, I'm going to use you? So when someone says to me, am I immediately going to be able to pick up clients? Can I, can I immediately pick up clients? Like, will I pick up a client today? Well, it depends how many people already know of you. How many people have you already touched before this? And then how can we accelerate you being in front of them and being more visible right now? And how can we continue to nurture them? Because at the end of the day, your number one goal is to get an email from someone. And some of you are thinking, what? It is. If they are not ready to buy from you right now, they may be, ready, better, may be ready to buy from you a little bit later. But on Facebook, because of the algorithm, and if you don't want to pay for ads, they're going to get lost. So without paying for ads, it means we have to get their email address so that we can now put them onto our database and continue to build a relationship with them. Today, uh, as I said, 52 people registered. I got, we've got 24 online at the moment. 
but I've got 52 emails. I think it's 53 actually, 53 emails now where I can still send this to them and I can still nurture them after this. So do you have a database? Um, do you even know what a database is? And that's okay if you don't, because I was that person. Believe it or not, it's only been in the last two years that I got one. But what I wish I'd done is right from the freaking beginning, I wish I'd set up everything properly and learned how to use it and just followed the process because it has cost me more money and time. Because what happened with me and my business is that I scaled. And when I scaled because I knew how to use Facebook, I scaled so quickly that my automations and my processes weren't able to keep up which means I manually had to do everything. And um, I don't know if Jen Mavie is on here at the moment, um, but I think I saw Lizzie, my bookkeeper, is on here at the moment. They have been with me over that process and seen how I've had sleepless nights over working backwards because I was then working with clients. I was manually doing everything and then still trying to bring on new clients and it was costing me a fortune for buggering around on setting up and implementing and learning systems and then uh, having to redo them again have, because they weren't the right one because I'd chosen the, right, the wrong ones that didn't work or were costing me too much money. Are you email retargeting? Are you sending out newsletters? Uh, the good news is there are many free platforms or low cost platforms that you can use. But if you want to be successful and professional in business and you want to scale, they have got to all be integrated. They've all got to be set up properly. Um, and you've got to know how to use them because some of you may not be in a position right now to be able to outsource that. And I can tell you right now, everyone goes outsource, outsource. You need to outsource the things you don't know how to do. Well, guess what? When you're a solopreneur, you don't have the money to outsource. And the money you do have to outsource is going to give you some shitty person who's not going to do it well and is going to screw you over. And even if you were outsourcing, you need to be able to monitor that person. Um, do you have a sales process? Everybody hates selling. But you know what? If you, you have a high priced offer, if your offer is anything over $500, you are, you are not going to get somebody just clicking buy now without having a sales process. They're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want more information. They're going to want to feel 100% that you can service them correctly before they hand over their money. And even now, it's going to be even tighter than before. So do you have a sales process? What process do you follow to turn them from a lead into a paying client? So they're not just constantly engaging or being nurtured, but they actually become a paying client. Everyone has to have a sales process. I hate it. It's my absolute horrible hating thing. Yep, we've got Sharon on at the moment. Sharon is the sales process lady. Um, so I've got a process, I absolutely hate it, but as business owners, we've got to understand we're not selling, we're actually serving, but the word to use, it is a sales process, but we are serving them. But there is a structure and there is a way to do it, and we do need confidence around learning how to do that. Um, all right, so, and then the next one is, how do you take money from them? I had a, co a cosmetic tattooist who, with small children who, who rented out an office space for two days a week. So she only had two days to service her clients. In those two days, because her kids were in childcare, she wanted to book people in, but she noticed that people weren't, she'd booked them in on Facebook, but they weren't pitching up on the day. And I said to her, are you taking payment? And she goes, no, they pay on the day. So she was pitching up, renting this room, and nobody was coming. They weren't pitching up because they hadn't actually paid. She had no, no payment process um, set up. And if it's a big program, you know, over $1,000, it may need a payment plan. So what is that going to be? Are you going to use Stripe, PayPal, Square? Are you going to invoice? And is it in integrated to your booking keeping system? Lizzie, you'll like that one because <laughs> it needs to be integrated and it needs to work with all your systems. And then do you have T's and C's in place along with an onboarding process? I am so incredibly stoked. Um, I had two re real big tie kickers this year who messed me around. It forced me to go and get my T's and C's in order uh, in both email and both on my, and on my website. Um, and on top of it, we have an onboarding process, meaning that when your clients come in, what, what, what process do they go in? Or do you manually have to onboard them? You manually have to get them to like all your pages and join your groups and download the workbook. Or is that whole thing automated? Now, I learned this the hard way last year. Last year, I decided one of my goals was I wanted to travel more and be paid to speak. Well, be careful what you ask for. 
because that happened and I did 22 trips in the year. And, what, and when you do a trip, it takes two to three days out of your time. And in that time, you're having to service your clients. And my automations, nothing was in place. So I was manually trying to do it while I was traveling and doing events at the same time. It almost darn right killed me. And that's why I spent the whole of last year tidying up and sorting up my automation so that if I do go on holiday, I can continue to generate leads. I can continue to, to service my clients. I can continue to actually take money while I'm actually away on holiday. And the next one is what booking system are you using? So there's many booking systems out there. There's Acuity, there's Calendly, there's You Can Book Me, there's um, your Google Calendar. And the wrong choice could stop you from scaling. Meaning that if you've got multiple calendars, um, a, a client at the moment um, that, I, that I, I'm working with, they've got two different calendars because one is on Mac and one is on Google. It's like, well, hold on, that's not going to work. They have to work together. Everything needs to work together and talk together. And believe it or not, many of these are low, low cost or free. And I'm not one of those coaches who goes in and says to you, I want you to turn everything upside down and I want you to use what I'm using. I have worked with many business owners across many different industries. And I look at what you're using and if it's working and you already know it, I just find something else that's going to work with it so we can try and get it together unless it needs to change. But I give you pros and cons to everything. And as I said, the wrong choice could stop you from scaling. Um, it could actually increase your management of systems. So right now, if you hate systems, if you don't have automations, your systems are going to increase even further. You could be wasting your time. You could be wasting your money uh, from setting it up and learning a new thing and then have to throw it out the door and get another one. Um, so Daryl here has written, chat box are good for automation, right? Yes, chat box are, but the right chat box are. There are chat bots that are destroying business owners at the moment because they've been set up with the wrong questions, with the wrong strategy, uh, with the wrong sort of process. And people are just going, block, you're spamming me, not interested. So yes, they are, but again, there has to be a strategy. And here's the kicker. The people who do chatbots, the people do, who do Facebook ads, and the people who do content, and the people who do websites, many of them are not strategists. Strategists are creatives. I'm a creative and I'm an educator. Many aren't that. So if you go and you get someone to set it up, they're actually relying on you to give them a strategy. And if you don't have that, and if you just go, I just want it set up, they will just do that. They will just set it up, but it will have no strategy. I worked on a website with a client the other day, went through and I test everything and gave them my feedback. Um, and there were multiple errors or things that could have been done to have improved that website. And she said to me, well, why isn't the website designer done that? For example, when they click on their um, opt-in and you fill out the opt-in page, it doesn't click back to the website. You just left on a dead page and you can't get back to the website. Now that's redonkulous. I'm not even a website person, but I know that that's taking someone off your page and not putting them back. And she's like, well, why didn't they just do that? And I went, mm, don't know. <laughs> you ask them. They should do that. They should offer you that. I should give that to you as a suggestion. But there are many cookie cutters out there, unfortunately. So we have to use our intuition. All right. So how will you deliver your services? So this is the other thing. As I said, right now with the business going online, uh, with businesses having to go online, how will you do it? I've got a makeup artist at the moment who is doing... Uh, one-on-one -on -one consulting and people, she's actually showing people how to put on makeup before they go anywhere or do anything. She's doing makeup tutorials through Zoom because she can't do them in person. I have got a massage therapist who does corporate jobs and, uh, and lost all her corporate uh, massages. And she has now, uh, she's also a relationship coach. She's now focusing on her relationship coaching business and getting more and more one-on-one -on -one relationship coaching. Um, but we had to change your offer. We had to change the offer. We had to change how she's going to deliver it. We had to change the key messaging. So how will you deliver it? There's so many options. Are you going to deliver it through Facebook? Are you going to deliver it in Facebook groups? Remembering that Facebook owns Facebook. So what is your backup plan if Facebook goes under? Because you have to have a plan. I'm not stupid. i got a plan. Because if Facebook does go down, then what? Facebook to me is my vehicle. You have to be sure that you savor your content, which you can do on your Facebook page, savor your page content, 
And you've got to make sure that if you are running Facebook groups, that you have those people's email addresses and you can actually email them if Facebook goes down. You can continue to service them. Um, are you going to be doing it by doing Facebook Lives? What happens if you don't have internet? Will it be public? Will it be private? Do you know what that means? Um, for example, with Zoom at the moment, if you've got settings on private, on public, they've had people coming in and um, doing nudie shows by accident across Zoom because they had it on public setting. So sometimes we just don't know. Um, so are you going to do it via webinars and which webinar platform? I've got a business at the moment I'm working with. They're doing webinars and the webinar that they're using is a US system and it is glunky. So glunky. They're not, you're not able to pre-register. Meaning they have to rely on people just showing up at that given time. And people get busy. They forget. You guys would have received a reminder yesterday, a reminder this morning. And we would have Facebook marketed collecting your emails the whole time up until now. That is how that strategy worked. Are you going to do it for free? Are you going to do it paid? And there's a strategy around that as well. If you do it free, you might look cheap and attract people who want everything for free. If you do it paid, depending on the price, you might attract the wrong person. Will you use Zoom? Which package will you use on Zoom? Or are you going to use Google Hangouts? It's not cookie cutter. Okay, each business is different and it's, it's personalized. It needs to function well for you and the customer. It needs to be user friendly to you and to the customer. And in 10 days, I mean, I wrote this up last night. I said I got 40 of the right customers registered for this webinar, uh, but it is actually 53 by this morning. If your strategy is right, it does work and it doesn't become a waste of time. So I just want to show you uh, an example of um, how this worked. This is Alison. I actually met Alison in Maryborough. Uh, she's one of my partner's friend's partners. <laughs> my partner's friend's partner. Cool. And I got her to write this up for me. So life before Chantel. Limited Facebook knowledge, random business posting, not specific with business identity. She had an online scheduler, but actually didn't know how to use it. It wasn't integrated to anything. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't actually being used. A lack of direction and knew that she needed to get on social media to, to change. She lacked confidence personally and business-wise. And you cannot believe how this woman has changed. Um, no website, no newsletter, no online shop. And it was a dream of her to have an online shop because she makes her own products. She only had word of mouth referrals, which in a little town of Maryborough is not much, okay? So there's not a lot of people in Maryborough, not a lot of people to market to. Um, so really she needs to expand the area that she can service. So no marketing knowledge or plan. So life after Chantel, yes, I know there's a lot of text. So you can see here, she's doing Oracle card readings. She's actually made up her own products now of which she's selling online, her own essential oils, okay? Now, these oils over here, the essence that are up at the top, the goddess essence, are actually all blessed underneath full moons. And they're actually set with intentions for you. I mean, how absolutely beautiful and amazing and wonderful is that? And she just wonderfully just sent me out two of her new sprit spritzes. What, one is a, um, a vibe defender mist, which put putting over me right now to get rid of all the crazies. Um, but yeah, she's actually selling them all online on, on her shop at the moment. So she became educated in Facebook specifics understands the icons and settings, has an eye-catching profile, so jump on and, and check her out. Um, I'd love to show you the page beforehand, but it really was non-existent. There was really not much there. Um, she's now linking to other social media plat profiles um, and the website to Facebook. She has a business identity. She's very clear on that now, along with her story and her pitch, which are incredibly important. So mark that down as your homework to go and get your story right and your pitch right, and that is going to change. For it to resonate with your ideal client right now, guys, that is going to change. So I gained more understanding of Facebook groups and how they work, became accountable. So believe it or not, people just, in order to go quicker and to move faster, you want to become accountable. Um, Mel, who's on the call at the moment, um, I met her on, online in email, then met her online. And on Friday night over, what I don't know if you know, over a beer, I um, you know, signed her up and got her across the line because she's taking her photography business online to be able to coach businesses on how to use their Facebook to take their own uh, photos right now for social media. I mean, how super cool is that? So that is, you know, completely adapting to the market right now. Um, and the reason Mel could do it on her own, 100%. She could do it on her own and it could take her 
It could take it till the end of COVID. <laughs> I'm going to use that. That's my new hashtag. Um, it could take you to the end of COVID or we could get it up and running as soon as possible. And guess what? Many of us have got time right now to do that. Um, so we've, we've identified her clients, their pain points and how to resolve their issues. We've created her pitch. She knows how to use it. She knows what a discovery call is, okay? And this is a shy lady, but she actually knows how to convert the client in 15 minutes in a discovery call, um, which is super cool. And again, it's, a lot of it was that mindset around we're serving, we're not selling. She's discovered email marketing and how to nurture and funnel, cl funnel clients. So very new concept, very small database, but, but we are working on it. And that's from nothing. We've turned her dream into reality by setting up her website and her online shop. We've linked the online shop, her booking schedule, scheduler, her website and Facebook, and the whole process is automated for people to book. Facebook posts have become more streamlined and professional looking, and it's helped with her time management skills, and she says she's still working on that. So, um, But yeah, Chantal has given me the confidence to expand to online sessions. I'm able to streamline the whole online process from scheduler to payment system to Zoom link. Personally, I've grown immensely. Chantal has given me the skills to shine personally and confidently handle my business through social media. So I love Alison. Love her to pieces. She's not on today because I'm actually meeting her after this for an emergency one-hour appointment so we can change her offer. Uh, well, update it because we've updated it. We need to update it again. But check this out. Okay, so some of you may have never seen insights before. Now, this, these are this morning's insights on Alison's page. So Alison, I'm sure you will be looking back um, and she doesn't know I've done this. But have a look um, at Alison's insights, okay? We know that her page likes are up by 300 since she's been working with me. Most of her inquiries now are coming through Facebook Messenger. Her online booking, bookings via Facebook have increased, okay? Increased leads, online sessions have only just been on introduced, so it's really, really new, and we've had to accelerate that process over the last week or two. Um, but Alison is now able to move her in-person to online during COVID. So she's contacted all her clients, and she's talking them through the process of getting online. But she even has an old, an old client who's moved to Spain. She's re-engaged that old client and they're actually doing online meetings now. Uh, using a booking calendar and the whole thing's automated. So if we've adapted and created an online desirable offer of initial consult and follow-ups with kinesiology, reading cards and product sales, which is completely automated along with having a Facebook marketing strategy. Right, how cool is that? It just feels so squishy. I'm going to go through these results because when I first looked at them, I was like, oh my gosh, these, if you look at the ones on the left, are quite, you know, it says down, everything's down, but we have to understand we've had an unprecedented change in the last week or two, okay? So the actions on the page, so people actually going onto her booking calendar, she's had four. 98 page views, which is down by 28, 25%. Obviously, things have been in a bit of a standstill. So I'm giving you honest, on, I'm showing you honestly what it is. Page likes, uh, uh, she's at 13, which is down by 41%. So you can understand right now things are slowing down, but that's still good. Who would like 13 genuine page links, likes that you haven't paid for um, and aren't your family and friends? Yep. Um, post reach, 1,626 people have been reached with her post. Who would like, you know, 1,626 people reached? Um, story reach, 96 people have reached her story. Yes. Who would like two recommendations from strangers? So two people recommending their business and the engagement being at 1,461%. So even though they're down at the moment, um, she's had 156 three-second video views. But for Alison in Maryborough, very new to this whole thing. She said I would be her most difficult. <laughs> she said she would be my most difficult client and she's been an absolute joy. Um, this is what she's receiving. But what I did do is if you look at the middle one, and again, this is today. I did it this morning. Oops, let's go back. All right, let's have a look here. You can see the green is website link, website clicks, okay? And obviously it's been down in the last while because we've all been a little bit inactive. And so we've had website clicks and we've had action button clicks or the orange. Now the action buttons are book a call and check that out. Who would like some website clicks and who would like some booked calls, all right? And if you have a look at the right-hand side one, in the last 28 days, there's been, uh, we have had, as of today, you can see the date, 156 messaging connections, um, five of which are new in the last month. Five new, five new messenger connections, five new inquiries through messenger. All right. So I did that just to show you, um, 
what the opportunity is, what, what opportunities there are right now. And as I said, it is different for everyone. All right, cool. So the bottom line is those who step up, adapt and be pro proactive will still have a business when this is over. I love what the audacious agency said, uh, Lauren and Annette, they said the cream will rise to the top. And that is true. Leaders that are stepping up right now um, and, and moving on, they will, at the end of this, there's going to be a clear line drawn in the sand between those who took action and those who reacted and reacted poorly. It took me three years of frustration, time wasting and costly mistakes to eventually learn how to get Facebook to work for me and have systems in place. Within a few hours with, and with some hold, hold, hand holding, I can have you confidently set up with a business that you know how to successfully drive online. So do you actually want success? Well, in order to get it, you need to create a desirable offer to someone who's prepared to pay for it because it solves a problem which is causing them distress or dis-ease. You've got to find them on Facebook and use Facebook's capabilities, the right key messaging and the correct etiquette to market to them to get a yes. So you have a choice. And I've opened up my calendar because I've lost all my in-person events, which normally take me three to four hours uh, because of traveling and time. Um, and I've opened up my diary now to actually take calls. So I've set aside some time to speak to you personally. And you can apply these ideas to your business right now. Okay, so I'm going to show you how. If you go onto my website, you can book a call. There's a book a call button. And you can check my automation out. Just so you can see, there are, these are two testimonials from business owners that took a call. These people have never worked with me. They're not my clients. They've never worked with me. And they took the call and they actually left me a positive, a pot of, a positive review, which I'm truly grateful for. So as I said, um, there's no obligation on the call. I'm happy to have a chat, chat to you and see how I can help you. So how can I help you on that call? Well, we can discuss how ready you are to make Facebook work for your business and start making you money. And the focus of the call will be about getting serious about gaining confidence and skills and creating a Facebook, a fail proof Facebook strategy and creating income producing opportunities online. Okay, so who is it for? Because it may not be for everyone. You recognize the importance of going online for your business. You see Facebook as a crucial tool to get clients and grow your brand. You're ready to have a professional online business you can confidently run. You are coachable and willing to implement what is needed to be successful. You are serious about investing in the marketing and client generation for your business growth. So in the chat box, guys, could you write if you see, if you recognize the importance of going online right now? And if you can see the importance of Facebook, right now and if you've got a tip to share guys go for it put it in or talk about what it's done for your business right now or what you've seen other people achieving right now so whatever your biggest challenges are i've seen them and i know how to overcome them and karen you were in that last picture so i understand that it may not be for everyone however if this is you please book a call and as I said the call is on my website chantelgerardi.com.au but I do have a special offer guys so if you're not interested in my special offer you can jump off right now um, my feelings are not hurt hopefully I gave you some heaps of value today um, and this will be emailed out um, but if you are interested to know what offer I am offering please stay on because I'm only offering this until Monday 5 p.m. Um, and it is only limited to five because I do have as I said additional time right now with what's going on so I'm actually selling my do-it-yourself Facebook marketing program um, for the same price as my Facebook mastery program. So for 997, you're getting my 2,235 program, which means you will get um, four sessions with me along with my online program, the do-it-yourself Facebook ads program, eight weeks in my weekly one-hour group training, which is on a Monday, 1 p.m. It's on a Monday, 1 p.m. Brisbane time. Um, and you have until Monday, 5 p.m. Uh, as I said earlier, this is going to be emailed out to my database as well at the end of today. So for you, you guys have got up until the end of today to make a decision if this is right for you right now. Um, if it, and if it is for you, um, that's great. Karen, um, I see that you say you can't make Mondays. Um, I'll just explain a bit about those VIP mastermind calls. What happens is they are live on at 1 p.m. Monday, but during the week, everybody asks their questions. 
And then on the Monday, I address those questions and then that recording goes into that group. So you will be able to have access to that uh, recording along with every other recording. And we've got about 20 weeks worth of um, recordings in there. So as I said, you get the do it yourself Facebook marketing program for the same price. And you can just right now before waiting for the email to come out, cause the email is going to go to everyone. As I said, you can just jump onto my website, jump onto signature programs and you can go into um, the do it yourself Facebook marketing program. Just purchase the 997 one um, and we will upgrade you straight away to the Facebook mastery one. So do understand, as I said, that you may still have questions. You may still be a little bit unsure. Um, and you also may need my premium package, which is 10 hours in total. So depending on where you are in your business right now, you may actually not have anything in place and may need to set up the entire thing, which may mean you need the 10 hour program. And if that is the case, jump on that call. Um, and I've got a special offer for those people as well. So here's just a list of, you know, I've got 130 reviews on my Facebook page. If you'd like to look on, I've just highlighted some which I thought might be relevant to you right now. Um, you know, making your business page work better than ever before. Um, so much value in such a short space of time. Be great insights into potential markets that were never seen. Um, results with their menopause coaching business, uh, their Facebook group and their discovery calls. Um, physically how to know how to physically do things and be able to do it themselves um, and expand the business with their marketing, running events, programs, and even pricing. I've got two more over here. Um, benefit the way people see the business online. Whoops, there's only one more slide after this, guys, so don't worry. Um, but this is just social proof, just to share with you right now. Um, but yeah, if you want to have a look at that, guys, um, businesses are on the upward trend. They've got the tools to move forward. Stop hesitating, procrastinating, coming up with excuses. Uh, you won't regret it. Why am I doing this? Because I seriously want the best for business owners right now. I know that I'm a strong person. I've got broad shoulders. In saying that, I have had a couple of COVID cries. I'm not going to lie. We did run away on the weekend to go skiing just to try and clear our heads. Um, and I am helping my, my partner try and keep his bicycle shop open at the same time to, as well. So, um, you know, I've got a lot going on. Plus my current clients, I'm giving them additional hours at the moment just to support them during this time. Um, but this too shall pass. And at the end of this, those who have, uh, you know, those who've taken action will survive um, and they won't have to go back and start again. So please check your spam folder, guys. We will be sending it out at around four o'clock today. Um, but for those of you who want to do it, just jump onto the website, uh, go to chantaljurati.com.au, uh, go to signature programs and just purchase the 997 program and we will automatically um, upgrade you. And as I said, um, there are only five available because that I've worked out my hours and that will fit in nicely with my hours. That's an extra 20 hours worth of work, which I can, um, which I'll be able to service you adequately over this time. So thank you very much guys. Um, if you do have any questions, I'm happy to actually stay on and answer any questions that you may have. Um, um, what I do want to show you as well is that in the chat box, uh, where it says type your message here, you can click the three dots and you will be able to download that entire chat to your, to your um, downloads or your, go to your downloads, your desktop, depending on your computer. So if, you are, um, if you'd like to, to reconnect or network or support any of those business owners in there, or if you wanna take the time to go back and read them, uh, as I said, just click on the three dots and download that chat. And that way you'll be able to um, be able to have that. Yep, Karen, happy to have a chat to you. Um, yeah, thank you so much. If anyone would like to go on and leave me a Facebook or Google review, I'd also appreciate that as well. Uh, we need to be giving social proof to everyone right now and business must continue. We must give confidence to people. Um, excellent, thanks so much. Does anyone has any other questions about that? I think somebody had a question about a preferred, uh, a preferred, if anybody saw it, just you can unmute yourself and let me know. Um, Sandra, is Sandra still on? Yes, Sandra's still on. Awesome. Sandra, you know, sells Norwex products. And right now, Norwex products are going to be needed more than anything else because people are needing to clean healthy products. So, you know, your key messaging really needs to adapt and change right now to be able to accommodate those people. We've had to make our own 
uh, sanitizers, hospital grade sanitizers with vodka, had to sacrifice the vodka to make our own hand sanitizer, but we did it because we have to make hospital grade uh, sanitizer, we can't get it. And my, obviously um, my partner needs it for his business as well. Um, somebody had a question about a platform that they're using. If anyone saw it, that would be great. Uh, Karen is holding uh, some mindset training as well, and she's got a free 10 minute call. If anybody wants to jump in and, and click onto that, that would be awesome. Uh, let's have a look. Did anyone see? I'm sure I saw it anyway. Let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I thought I saw somebody asking whether or not a platform, which platform was the best one to use. Let's have a look. Did anyone find it? Yeah, excellent. So, Sue, yep, if you could, um, thank you so much. If you'd like to book a call, there are limited calls available in there. Please jump on uh, and fill out a book a call. Um, and then for those of you who just know that you want to go ahead and buy that do-it-yourself program before we send it out and give it to everybody, um, jump, jump onto the signature programs and um, you can actually, I think it's signature programs, buy your program and the do-it-yourself program. Just buy the 9971 and we will upgrade you automatically. So you're saving 1000 something dollars. Um, it is redonkulous, but I'd love to support small businesses right now. Yeah, excellent, Daryl. Um, yep, no worries. Please book a call. That'll be awesome. Thank you so much. So as I said, this will go out at four o'clock today. If you do know any other business owners that are struggling right now, guys, I'd love you to either connect me to them via Facebook or to um, uh, thank you, Sharon. Thanks so much for attending today. Um, yeah, please send them this recording. The recording will come out in an email. Please send it through to them. Um, or alternatively, um, yeah, connect me, get them to book a call, share the, the message out to them, let them know about the offer. Um, and thank you so much, Lizzie. Lizzie's been on Team Chantel for, for quite a while now. Um, I've got a few secret weapons. They're not so secret anymore. Um, but yeah, Lizzie, uh, Lizzie Hammond, uh, my bookkeeper, she's also a spending planner, so helps people forward plan with their finances and forward forecast. So she's been detrimental in my business. Um, and then uh, my BA who's busy working to get this all set up to send you an email later, uh, Jen Lewis as well. We've got her to be able to assist you um, if you need help setting up or optimizing any of your automations. And she is like a tenth of the price of everyone else. So, um, all right, guys. Well, if there's no other, other questions, thank you so much for attending today. Um, and I wish you seriously all the very best. And I cannot wait to have those calls with you. Thank you so much, everyone. See you. Bye.